Hello folks, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a simple SketchUp model of the Barcelona Pavilion using a floor plan drawing that I found on the internet. And uh, what I'm going to do first is uh, essentially I'm just going to trace the floor plan elements. So I'm going to start off with the reflecting pools. I'm going to trace this one and then this one. I'm going to use the line tool. And I'm going to zoom in a bit. So right here, I'll just uh, click and release here on the face of the picture. I'll go in the red direction here. And then down here, zoom in. I'll just cut around this wall. And then I'll come to here. Now you can see, uh, you might see, be able to see this green dashed line or dot out line. That means that this point right here is lined up with the point where I began. So I'll just click here and that will ensure that this edge is in the green axis here all right so there is a first reflecting pool uh, this one is a rectangle so I'll use the rectangle tool and zoom in and I'll click and release right here and I'll pan down to this diagonal corner right here and then click and release all right so those two reflecting pools are there and now I'll just trace the perimeter of the building. Uh, but first I want to establish a um, corner right here with a guideline. So I'll use the tape measure tool and I'll click and release on the edge of the picture and bring a guideline over right there. And then I'll do the same thing top edge and bring a horizontal guideline down right there. So that establishes a, a intersection there. I'm going to call that corner zero all right so that's where i'm going to begin i'm going to use the line tool and i'm going to click at that intersection click and release and then i'll pan over and in the red direction click and release then i'll draw a line down right here in the green direction and then i'll just continue on in the red direction zoom out zoom in right here down to the wall, green direction, to the corner right here. All right, so I'm just basically tracing the perimeter of the building. I'm not too concerned about being inside the wall there because the picture is not perfect. Uh, it's more important that I am axial, meaning that my lines are either in the green direction or red direction. So here is the corner there, down in the green axis. All right, right there, there, and then here I'll come back to the guideline right there. And then I'll go back to where I began at this intersection, corner zero right there. All right, so that fills in the floor. So the um, the note here says the floor is six inches below the top and the reflecting pool is four inch below the top of the floor. So I'm gonna use the push pull tool to pull the floor down. I'm gonna go down six, enter, six inches. And the reflecting pool, I'm gonna Click and release on that one, pull it down by four, enter. And then this one, click and release and pull this down by four, enter. Okay. All right. I'll hit escape or space bar. And now I'm going to group this geometry together. Okay. So I'm going to triple click. That selects the floor and the reflecting pools. Right click and make group. All right, now I can fill in, or I can color in or texturize the reflecting pool. Uh, so I'll do that. And um, to be able to see the reflecting pool planes, I'm gonna turn off the layer or tag that the picture is on. So I put, I created a layer or tag and put the background picture on it. And I can set the, vis I can turn the visibility of that off. To do that, I'm going to come over here to this thing that looks like a tag. It's called tags. Click there, 
you can see that under tags there is a tag or you can think of it as a layer but uh, it's called plan picture okay and I created that you know I clicked here and I created and I put this picture on that tag so the eyeball turns the vis visibility on and off so I just uh, the eye is closed click it again the eye opens all right so that's how that works so you can see my floor here I'm going to put a texture there material so to do that I'm going to double click so I can then select these planes the reflecting pool the water use the paint bucket and you can see there's a um, water texture already in there if not you can just go to the browse and it'll get show you a bunch of material categories among those is water and I can choose one of these so I'll choose this one click there click there okay now I'll hit the space bar or hit click on the arrow that brings me out of the bucket tool and then I just click somewhere in the green okay so now it goes back to being grouped all right let me turn the tag the picture tag back on plan picture now the floor hides my picture so I want to be able to use the picture so what I'll do now is hide the floor okay so the floor is selected I just simply have to right click and that brings up this option panel here which we've seen before and this time we're going to use hide not you know that's where we group things but I'm going to click on hide and that hides the the floor now I'm going to do the wall so let me reset my scene my um, camera to the standard view so if you go to um, let me just retract that so if you want to uh, reset your scene your camera view go to the scene panel right here and standard views and plan so plan view will bring you back to the the floor plan view the top-down view which is what I want okay I'll just retract that next thing I'm going to do is uh, draw the walls or model the walls I'm going to start back here at corner zero use the pencil tool the line tool and I'll just click and release at the intersection and just like I did with the floor I'm just going to trace the walls okay one one piece of walls at a time so I bring this to here go down in the green direction and uh, I will say that the note over here says that the walls are six inches thick so right here I'm just going to move in a red direction by six enter okay and then I'm going to press escape to stop to abort that and then I'll go back to corner zero here so I'm just tracing the X outside edge of the wall so I click and release go down in the green direction along the guideline here click and release and then go in the red direction to here click and release and then go up in the green direction six enter for six inches and then I'll press escape to abort what I'm gonna do now is go to tags and turn off the that tag that will show me my lines and I'm gonna use guidelines to complete the rest of the wall so I'm gonna click release here and type six enter because the walls are going to be six inches thick so right here click and release six enter and that's all i need to do yeah because i can then use my line tool and click and release here at this end point go to the guideline click and release click and release and then to this uh whoop i can't do that one so let me escape and abort that go from here guideline and then back to here all right so that'll fill in the face and the note over here said that the uh it doesn't say here i gotta change that but the um the note will say that the walls are 10 feet high so i'll use the push pull tool click release on this face move up and type one zero apostrophe enter 120 enters 120 inches 10 feet and I'm going to group this together so I'll use the arrow tool or hit spacebar to get the arrow tool triple click right click make group okay all right so let me reset my view to uh, standard views plan and I will turn the plan picture tag back on and I'm going to do uh, these 
straight run walls next starting with this shirt one and so I'm going to use a my tape measure tool and uh, click on the face of the picture the group click and release and uh, I'll go down six so I'm not seeing that so let me try this click on the edge of the picture or this guideline right here click and release bring this down until it just touches the edge of the wall and then do it again with this guideline here click and release and then this one is going to be six enter all right so I have these two guidelines six inches apart they're parallel I'm going to use the rectangle tool and click on this edge of the line right at the end of the wall and then stretch my rectangle click and release and then move it to this end all right so that'll fill it in I'm gonna use the push pull tool and pull this up by one zero apostrophe enter or 120 enter for 120 inches and before I group it I'll make these other walls I'll use this wall right here so let me um, select all the geometry triple click and then before I group it I'm just gonna move it so I'm gonna move it and copy it so that's the move tool with the control option to copy I'm gonna uh, click here uh, press the control option to copy it and move it right here on facing group so you want to make sure everything is, is touching the face of the picture all right and I'll do it again so I'm going to move, move tool with the control option to copy it and I'll put that one right here all right now these walls are longer so it's just a simple matter of using the push pull tool to click and release on this face and pull this out to the proper length right there do the same thing here click and release push pull it right there all right so now I'll group the walls I'll use the selection tool arrow tool space bar is a shortcut triple click right click make group again with this piece triple click right click make group and group this one triple click right click make group okay um, I'll go to plan view here now this is the last wall so I'll use my pencil tool and I'll click right here go in a green direction six enter and then move my mouse to the end of the wall right here in the red direction click and release go down into green right here again the picture is not perfect so I'm ignoring that I'm inside the wall click and release there and I'll go up six enter all right um, then let me um, turn off the plan picture tag and then I'll complete the rest of the wall with guidelines or not complete it but I'll use guidelines to help me complete it so generate a guideline there and this one click and release move this one over six enter and then this one click and release go up to this end point there then pencil tool line tool click and release click and release click and release and click and release all right push pull tool uh, and then I'm just gonna click and release on this face and I can type 10 apostrophe enter 120 enter or I can just hover over this wall this is called inferencing so I can infer the height of my new wall based on the height of this existing wall here so I just hover over any part of the top of it and just click and release and these this wall is the same height as that wall 10 feet all right selection tool the arrow triple click right click make group okay let me reset my standard view to plan all right so all the walls are there and now the the two roofs so let me get rid of these guidelines to do that and I can either scroll down here to the display option or click on the eyeglasses here and there's a button here delete all guides I'll click on that all right all the guidelines are gone let me uh, turn on the visibility of that tag so let me see tags okay and plan picture click on the eye all right so the dashed line represents the edge of the roofs okay there's two of them and I'm simply going to um, 
use guidelines to lay those out. So tape measure tool. And what's important here is that uh, number one, I'm going to click on the top of the wall and I'm going to uh, bring this guideline out over the guide over the dashed line. Now, I can't click here because what will happen is it will uh, snap my guideline to the picture, right? And you can see, oh, it didn't do it that time. All right, that time it worked. But what you want to do is um, usually it will snap it to the picture. So to avoid doing that, you just uh, bring it out and bring your tape measure over the green area and then click. That way it's not on the ground. All right, plan view. So um, I'll do that again. I can click on the top of the wall or this guideline, which I know is is okay. All right, and I'll just bring that over this. All right, and I think that's all the guidelines I need because if I go to plan view right here, I can use my rectangle tool and click on the line, the guideline right there, and then st stretch my rectangle. So I, I clicked and released and then bring it up to this intersection of guidelines. All right. And there is the roof. Well, the first plane, it says the roof is six inches thick right here. So push pull, click and release and bring it up by six, enter. All right, I'll use my selection tool, space bar is a shortcut, triple click, right click, make group. All right, let me reset my standard view to plan view. And then this larger roof, um, use the same technique. I'm gonna use the tape measure tool, click on the top of the wall here, bring it out so that the guide line is over top of the dash line. Do it again and Maybe I can get away with clicking right here. No, see that's what happens. So it put the guideline on the ground, which is not good. Let me control Z out of there and try it again. So click and release on the top of the wall. Then we go to plan view here. All right, and let me go to the side here. All right, all right there it's good all right let me repeat that for this edge of the roof right there and i think that uh, is enough so i can use my rectangle tool click on it, this intersection of guidelines and we go to plan view here and then my diagonal corner of my rectangle is going to be on this guideline right here online good all right, now I'm gonna push pull this up by six inches, click and release, six, enter, space bar for the arrow tool, or click on the arrow, triple click, right click, make group. All right, and delete guides, eyeglasses, delete all guides. Uh, let me turn off the visibility of the tag here, the plant picture tag, and I'm gonna unhide the floor, so, Go back to the eyeglasses, the display, unhide all. All right, and there it is. There is the uh, Barcelona Pavilion, at least a simpli simplified version of it. So give that a try and enjoy.